What's going on, family? Robert here. In Genesis chapter 16, we see Sarai running out her handmaid Hagar because she had told Abraham to, to lay with Hagar to produce an offspring. And when, after that had occurred, Hagar was run off. But in the midst of her running off, the angel of the Lord came and spoke to her. And in after that interaction, she called his name Elroy, which is the God who sees. Brothers and sisters, we have a God who sees all. And we can see that very clearly from the words of David here in Psalm 139. It says, beginning at verse 7, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the furthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I can ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Here in the text, the psalmist David is saying that God sees everything that he does. He says there's no place on earth that he can escape God's spirit. That if he goes up to the heavens, guess what? God is there and sees him. If he goes down to the grave, guess what? God sees him and he's there. Even if he goes to the furthest ends of the ocean, God's presence is there with him. Even in darkness, even in light, God sees what David is doing. But the truth of the matter is that though David is the one speaking, the truth about God rests for all of us, that God sees everything. He sees the good that you do, when you are serving others. He sees the good that you do when you are helping out people. He sees the good that you that you do when you are sharing the gospel. But he also sees the dirty things that you do. He sees when you may tell a little white lie. He sees when you may be mean or inappropriate to someone. He sees when you don't treat people with respect and love. But in spite of all those things, this God who sees all still loves you. And that's the good news of this text, that he sees all. But even in the, in the midst of seeing all, he can see the good and the bad. He can see the good and the bad that not only you do, but also what was done to you. And that provides me some encouragement. If we go back to the story of Hagar. Hagar was mistreated. Hagar had to run away because of the, the because of the bad things that were happening to her. But this angel told her to go back. The angel gave her some details about what her son would be like, and he told her to go back. And in going back, her son was able to be born. Her son was able to be part of the family before he was kicked out later. And her son was able to be included in part of what Abraham had for his children. And I say all that to say that God sees when we're mistreated. God sees when we're not treated right. God sees when people don't do what they're supposed to do. And he can step into that situation. He can help. He can make a way out of no way for us. And so what I want to encourage you with today is that God sees when you're talked about. God sees when you're mistreated. God sees when people do you dirty. But he's not a God who just can see. He's a God who can respond to those things. So don't worry when, when people don't treat you right. Because just as God sees the good, he sees the bad too. And he can respond in those situations. So with that, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are a God who sees all. 
And yes, that may be scary, especially when we may not be living or doing right. But when other people are treating us wrong, it's a great thing to know that we serve an almighty, all-powerful God who sees when we're not treated right. He can respond to us. He can respond to that individual. And he can change our situation. Help us to trust you in those times when we are mistreated. And help us to lean to you despite what may be going on. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to look at Psalm 139. God bless.